Continuing on with the world's fastest, quickest, bestest online free Revit course. So for this one, we're going to be doing some walls, we're going to be doing the site plan, we're going to be creating a camera. So it's going to be a fun one. And before we get into that, make sure to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And of course, make sure to subscribe for daily Revit tutorials. Okay, let's get into it. So this is where we last stopped. So this is the south elevation. Now let's do some walls. So let's start off from the foundation level. So just go over here to the floor, you double click foundation level, and now it's time to start placing walls. So to start with the wall command, you can either go over here and click on the wall, you can maybe open up this drop menu and click on architectural wall, or the best part, as you can see over here, it says wall, uh, architectural, and then in parentheses, it says WA, that means the shortcut for walls is WA. So you can just type in WA, come on, Okay, and there you go. Now it started the command. Now before we start placing a wall, first we need to do some basic settings. So go to the properties panel and search for the wall you want to use. So I'm just going to be opening up this drop menu, uh, scroll down a bit, and uh, let's see what we have. So we've got this retaining 300 millimeter concrete wall, so that's the one that I'm going to be selecting. And here uh, we can uh, just set up the size of the wall or the basic dimensions. So here for the height, uh, make sure that it doesn't say unconnected, make sure that it says uh, level two entry level. Okay, so you click on that. For the location line, we can leave it at this. For chain, that just means when you start placing one wall, you can immediately go into the second one, or if you, uh, uh, on a, uncheck that as you can see now we have to click again to start a new one so let's just delete this for now okay go back into wa okay so just make sure that that is checked for offset make sure you don't have any offsets radius non unnecessary joint status I'll just leave it at allow. Okay, so now let's start placing walls. Now I'm going to be straying away from uh, the original uh, uh, tutorial for, for this getting started with Revit uh, video, because there it says to kind of go with the walls and use the same methodology that AutoCAD users use, which is like click, and then measure from there, and then click, and then measure from there. Revit doesn't work that way, or I mean, it doesn't have to work that way. So Revit means revise and edit. So you just throw something on the screen, and then you just revise it and edit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like this, just place walls like that, and now I can do the settings. So this should be at 1200 uh, millimeter, or sorry, 1200 millimeter, or 12 meters, so I've made a mistake there. Okay, so that's 12 meters, and this should be at 6.9 meters. So 6.9, hit enter, and there you go. So you've got walls that are at these distances. So you don't have to actually go in with the wall command and go from here, measure like, I don't know, like 10 meters, and then go up and measure, I don't know, like four meters. No, you can just place walls and then you can do the setup later on. I think it's a better way of approaching uh, the task and it's uh, a bit quicker and easier. Okay, so once we have this foundation a wall, uh, let's go into a lower level or level one. Okay, so once we're here, we're going to be placing another foundation wall over here. So for that, I'm just going to go here to wall again uh, and uh, just make sure that it's the same wall. But here from height, we're going to change this to depth and here from unconnected, change this to foundation. So we're going from a lower level to foundation. So we're not uh, modeling above, we're modeling below. So if we start placing walls over here, as you can see, we can't see anything. Uh, that's because uh, the the view uh, the view range isn't set up right. So to set up the view range, just type in VR. That's how deep you can uh, you can look in the drawing. So here, just for the view depth, make sure that it's unlimited. Hit apply, and now as you can see, you can see this wall over here. Hit OK. So this is the wall we have. So now let's continue on drawing the wall. W A is the shortcut for wall. We click over here. We do one line like this, one line like this, one like this, and then connect it back. Okay, so now we need to set up the dimensions as we did uh, earlier on. So click here. And now to set up the, the distance from here to here, as you can see that this dimension line is going all the way to this side. So you need to select this a little uh, dot move it over here and then type in the number here. So it should be 1.95 for this one. For this one, it's going to appear over here. So here we can set it up to 1.5. And for this distance, it should be at 315. So let's type in 315. 
Okay, so there you go. And to see what this uh, whole thing looks in space, we can just hit this little uh, 3D default view, and there you go, this is what we have created. But as you can see, this view, and just hold the Shift key, uh, click the scroll button, roll around, orbit around, and as you can see, this is now uh, in kind of a parallel projection view, but you want to create that cool camera view. So how do you do that? Well, for that, we need to create a camera. Uh, just go into, uh, let's say, lower level view, and once you're here, zoom out a bit and open up, as you can see here, uh, this is the 3D view, you've got this little drop menu. Open up the drop menu and you can select this camera option. So camera gives you that beautiful perspective. So you just select that camera and as you can see now we've got a little camera. It's so cute over here. So let's just place it and just go a bit away from the building, click once, pull it all the way to the other side so you can kind of encompass the building with this camera, click again, and now, as you can see, this is the, our building. Okay, it's look, it looks really horrible now because it's uh, in the beginning stages, but it will look nice once it's finished. Okay, so now let's do the terrain around the building. And for that, we need to go to the site plan. That's where you create your terrain, of course. And to get to the site plan, you need to go here to the, well, site plan. Di double click on the site plan. And as you can see, this is what you get. Now, of course, you can't see uh, the, the bottom wall. So let's fix that up with VR or view range. So just type in VR and change this to unlimited, hit apply, and now you can see your whole uh, little house. Okay, so now to do the terrain, uh, terrain is part of the site and where you can find tools for the site, well, of course, on the massing and site tab. So you just go massing and site and here you can see topo surface, that's the topography surface or your terrain, your surroundings. So you just click on that tool and you start the tool and now you can place your uh, terrain over here. So how do you do that? Well, uh, you just place these points and these points are kind of points in space, uh, the same way if you were doing a kind of measuring the terrain, uh, basically using the same technique in reverse to create, to create the terrain in Revit. Here you set up the elevation, so for the elevation let's start off from minus uh, 0 0.15, so this is minus 15 centimeters, or if you're using centimeters just type in 15, but I'm using meters, so it's minus uh, 0 0.15. And you just start placing uh, these little uh, points, so you just go like this. And you can place a few of them, you can maybe stick them together a bit, or you don't have to. So let's go just like that. Okay, so once we have these in place, now let's do the second, uh, second row. And for that, let's just type in minus 4 meters. And now start placing them kind of in the middle of the house. So you just go like that. And uh, try to make as many as of these as you have on this side, uh, try to have as many on the other side as well. So just go like that. I think I have placed two over here. No, I haven't. Okay, and let's do the final one, which is kind of over here. And for that one, uh, let's do uh, minus, I don't know, like 4.15. Or no, let's do 4.3. Okay, and for that, I just go over here and just again, try to do the same number. I, I mean, you don't have to really, but it's uh, usually a good idea to kind of uh, try to simulate the same number. So you just hit finish and now if we go into 3D this is what we get. This is our terrain. Again hold the control and orbit around. Now if you want to uh, have those contour lines for this how do you set those up? Well for that you need to go here to uh, model site and you have this little arrow over here with site settings. So you open up that little arrow and here as you can see contour line display it's at 5 mid meters that's the interval and here uh, the distance from the top to the bottom is less than 5 meters that's why we can't see those but if we set it up to something smaller like 0.5 usually you would do at 1 meter but at 0.5 you would just get more of these or let's try one hit apply so that's uh, how you add those contour lines. And if you go to site plan, now as you can see, you've got those contour lines. Now let's switch to this 3D view and observe a problem that we have. So if I orbit around, again, shift plus uh, the scroll wheel, uh, and as you can see, the terrain is going through our house. Now that's uh, usually not how you want to have uh, your house built. You don't want to have uh, a bunch of your terrain and a bunch of grass in your house. So how do we uh, kind of tear a hole in this terrain in place of our home. Well, for that we need to use the building pad. Now for this, let's go back into the site plan, 
select the building pad and now you need to create a pad for your building so you just use the pick lines tool or you can use the pick walls tool so you can hover over one wall hit the tab key and it selects all of the walls so just the tab key that kind of changes the selection toggles between the selection so you're just going here pick walls hover over one of them tab key click and as you can see now it created a line that's going on the outside of all of these walls and if accidentally it made it inside of the walls you can just flip this around so you just use these arrow keys to flip it around but because this looks right i'm just going to hit finish and if we go into 3d as you can see we don't have that problem so our terrain is eliminated we've got a little building pad inside but as you can see the building pad the problem is it's it's at entry level and that's not a good thing to have so this building pad should be below our building so just change the level of the building pad to foundation and there you go so now our house is kind of digged into the terrain if i orbit around that's what you get so as you can see it's digged in and just to double check everything to look at from a greater view open up your 3d views find your cool little 3d view one camera and as you can see here is our building and it's digged into the terrain okay so that's it for uh, this part i don't know what's this part three and we're going to be continuing on with other geometry and continuing on this project in the next tutorial. So make sure to hit subscribe for that. And if you want to download this project file, uh, make sure to check out my Patreon. First link in the description for only $5 a month. You can get access to all of my project files so you can kind of play around and learn Revit on your own. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share the video, and I'll see you tomorrow.